Hello welcome again to my YouTube channel, today we will be creating a low poly road, the one I created for my mountain pass animation. This video is one of the breakdown videos of that scene, those of you who want to see that video, I will give a link in the description, so you can find it easily. Well let's start modeling. Open Blender, delete the cube. Press Shift A, Mesh, select Plane. Go to edit mode by pressing tab. Press Ctrl R, to put a loop cut just in the middle. Go to face select mode, select one face of the plane, press X, and delete faces, then go to the modifiers tab, and select mirror. Press Ctrl R, again to put an edge loop again. Click once, and drag that edge loop right next to the middle edge. Now we have to repeat the process and put two more edge loops in the geometry. Be in edge select mode and select the outer edge. Extrude it a little along its Z axis by pressing E, Z. Now E. X to extrude a little along its X axis, E, Z again. Then extrude along X. Again extrude along its Z axis. Make sure clipping is checked in the mirror modifier. Now extrude again and join the two edges. Our road model is complete, now it's time to put some materials on it. Go to the material tab. Click on new to add a new material, go to base color, and select a darker color. Go to shading view so we can see the model's shading live preview. Lower down the specular because road surfaces are rough. Well go to face select mode, select the middle face. Click on plus then click on new again. We are already on white base color, just need to lower the specularity a bit. Click on assign. Then select the other face as well and click assign. Our road is complete, just have to change the color of its outer edges. Click on plus again, and then new, click on base color, select light or darker gray color, to have a concrete look, and lower the specular level. Go to edit mode and then face select. Choose the outer faces. Choose the new material and click on assign. Our road model is half done, now it's time to give our road model a curve, and make it longer. In top ortho view, Shift A, go to curve and select path, R, Z, 90, to rotate it along its Z axis. Go to edit mode, extrude it to your own liking, and give your nerves path a curve. Go to the modifiers tab again, select array modifier. In the relative offset, the first one is for x axis. Make it 0, change the center tab from 0 to 1, so our array, keeps on generating along its y axis, and increase the number count. First scale up the curve. Select our road model, and go to the modifiers tab again, and this time select curve. Then click on object and select NURBS path, see our road is now following the curve. 
increase the number count. It seems good but you can see that it is not perfect along the curve. It is all because of less vertices in the NURBS path. Select the path, go to edit mode, subdivide the vertices where you feel you need a little bit of detail, and it is not looking blocky. You will see the difference when it's done. Well our road model is complete, it is on your skill now, to make it look more beautiful. This is all for today. See you in the next part of the Mountain Pass Breakdown series, hope you liked the video, and please like and subscribe my YouTube channel Rogue Knight 3 d to be notified of my newest upcoming videos. Well see you in my next video, happy blending.